everybody. Today I am going to show an interesting AI that uh, it is applicable for the uh, researcher especially. Uh, so it is Escopus AI. Uh, so if you open the uh, Escopus.com and if your university or your institution have subscription you will see a new uh, tab here on the first page as Scopus AI. So it is uh, easy to use. Just uh, put your uh, question here. For example, I am going to ask uh, about, because my research is about the anthocyanin, so I am going to ask uh, uh, how to stabilize the uh, anthocyanin. So I'm going to ask the question how to stabilize uh, anthocyanin. So this one I put and then I start to ask the, uh, the AI. So it is bring you uh, summary uh, the method of stabilization is purification method complexation effect of pH encapsulation for stability or using stabilizing uh, agent and it gives you the the references about this this one you also can see the expanded summary uh, and in expanded summary you can see the uh, more detail about your question uh, and both uh, and all of the answer the, it has uh, the uh, its proper or related reference uh, the reference coming from the articles published in last 10 years then you uh, you uh, at the bottom you have the concept map maybe sometime uh, because it is just started sometime it is uh, interesting sometime maybe it is not uh, as uh, interesting as you think but okay there is some uh, method that it bring you uh, about the anthocyanin stability about the some conditions some factors and it is just a general overview and at the bottom you can see the top experts in this field if you are looking for someone that working on this area uh, it uh, check and find the top expert in this area with the with their sub citation about the document in this area and you can find and what uh, or if you want to communicate with them you can find the, their email or you can read their article uh, and at the last there is something that you are going deeper for example it brings you some uh, deeper question what are the most effective methods for stabilizing uh, anthocyanin food product okay I, I just uh, click on this link and then it is again it's bring me some interesting things about the uh, techniques of stabilization and also again I can find the expanded summary uh, also the concept map and uh, also again going you can go in deeper and deeper what are the key factors that contribute to the degradation of anthocyanin product you can see it's going more deeper and deeper and again same the you can see the factors in a concept map uh, the major factors and also you can again going deeper and deeper all the data here are coming from the research published article that uh, s uh, all of them uh, they already in the database of the Escopus. So I, I think this is interesting and hopefully it is uh, useful for you to use in your 
research. Thank you for today and have a